Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller. And in this tutorial, we are going to cover ACF or Advanced Custom Fields, which is a WordPress plugin that's installed in over a million sites, maybe two million, I don't know. Um, it was recently acquired by Delicious Brains, which is a, an amazing uh, uh, agency, company, plugin development suite place. I, I don't know how it class them, other than just being a really awesome team of developers and product engineers and and people, humans. Um, so what advanced custom fields allow uh, allows you to do is create fields um, that that are of really any field type. Uh, do conditional display and conditional logic, and then as a developer, do some really cool things with it, uh, depending on your project and what you need it to do. Um, I personally like ACF specifically for the back end and how it allows me to rapidly create UIs for uh, the, the marketing teams that we often work with. And uh, it allows us to also do it in such a way where it gives them the flexibility to manage the content, but it also keeps the integrity of our designs intact. So let's dive right in. Now there are two versions. There's a free version and a pro version. We're only gonna cover the free version today and some basics here. So uh, if you're following along uh, in our previous videos, you will have noticed that we've already spun up our test site in local. We're gonna close out some of these tabs here. And we're gonna go down to plugins and click add new, and we're going to search for ACF. Let's see if we get, uh, no, that's not our first hit. It's this one down here, right? By Delicious Brains, two plus million active installs. Great review. It's a great, it really is a great plugin. Yeah, honestly, I hope that one day becomes part of WordPress core. Wink, wink. All right, so activate. It is now activated, and we now have a menu item down here called Custom Fields. If we click on that, we can see a UI here that says Filled Groups. Going across the top, we have Filled Groups and Tools, Upgrade Pro, and we can go ahead and add a new Filled Group. So that's what we're going to do. And we're gonna call this um, let's call this pages because we are going to add a new field uh, to our pages. And so starting down below, we can click the add field and we can give our field a label. What do we want to do? Let's, let's call this, what do we want to call this? What do we want to call this? We'll call this, let's say this is a portfolio site and we're going to say, Portfolio, portfolio name, sure, that's good enough. Can't I can't think of anything great right now. And uh, when I hit the tab button there, the field name already filled itself out and that's a machine readable name. And then so uh, usually it's a good idea to maybe stick with uh, whatever it populates for you, but you can update it and change that right here in the field we're going to stick with what it provided to us. Field type, this is where it gets really interesting. There are many different types of field types. We have text, text area, number range, email, URL, password, etc. Whole list of them. If you want to learn more about these field types, you can come to uh, ACF WordPress. Yes, this first hit here, advancedcustomfields.com. We can come up here to, I believe, documentation, field types, and it just anchored us down the page. And here are all the different field types, and you can get little screenshots of what those look like. And if we click uh, into any one of those, there's some great documentation here about those particular field types. But for this video, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a plain text uh, field and we want to be able to display that field on the front end. Instructions. 
Well, it's always useful to, to give some instructions. We're going to say, use this field to display the project or portfolio name on the front end of your website. Uh, we're going to require this field. Yes, why not? Default value, placeholder text, we're going to leave blank. Prepend and append, we're also going to leave blank. They have some great documentation, so even though I'm sort of running through this, you can go check that out. It'll explain more and you know, install this for yourself and tinker around. Character limit, we're not going to uh, put any sort of character limit on that. We're also going to leave conditional logic and ratcher, uh, wrapper attribute ratcher, attributes, wrapper attributes alone. All right, so we're gonna hit publish. Now, I'm going to make an intentional mistake and I, I want to do this because this is going to be a mistake that, that you may also make as well. Several times I still make them often to this day and that is not paying attention here to what post type this is going to be displaying on. Now, by default, it's saying post type is equal to post. So even though that we made this for our uh, pages and we called the field group pages, if we go to our pages and we click on add new, we are not going to see that field anywhere here on the screen. We should be seeing it somewhere here on the screen. What we have to do is we have to go back to our field group. We're going to edit that and we're going to change the post type to be equal to page. Okay. So if we click update and we go back to pages and we click add new, if we scroll to the bottom, we can now see pages, which is the name of our field group. So it's grouping. It would group if we have you know, 20 fields there, it would group them all in this box and portfolio name here. So what do we want to say? We want to say, hello world, of course, unoriginal, but that's okay. Hit publish on there. I uh, should also add a title here too. We're just going to call this demo page. I hit the enter button too, by the way. I don't know if you knew this or not, but hitting the enter button on the title field will help save the page for you too. Click on view page. Now, surprise, surprise, we're not seeing anything here, okay? That's because we added a field, but now as a developer, we have to use a function to display that field's information, okay? I'm going to revert back to the documentation to show an example here. So uh, let's go back a page. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And we're going to click on the text field type and we're going to, yep, get rid of that. We're going to scroll down and we're going to look at where it says template usage. And it says to display the value, we need to use this function here. Okay. So let's copy that and let's paste that. Oop, there we are. Let's paste that. Well, we better get rid of this because we're going to, that's from our previous video. That's not going to bold well for us, will it? We're going to paste the field and we need to change this to be the field name. So our field name was portfolio name, I believe. And if we go back, hit refresh, we see hello world. So let's go back to our page again and edit that we're going to call this Twitter, mm, 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 Twitter banner design. Sure, why not? Update, oops, sorry. View page, Twitter banner design. Okay, so it is displaying the value or the data from our field and it's doing so by, I keep going the wrong way, by the field. Okay, so let's slow down and explain that a little bit more. The field, right, and let me just go ahead and get rid of this, 
is a function provided to us by ACF. And they have the, all sorts of helper functions uh, like get filled and the field and tons more. They also have their own little hook ecosystem, just like WordPress, which we covered in a previous video, um, that allows you to uh, filter data or you can also use uh, an action hook, like, like I said, that we covered. But the first parameter that we need to pass in here will be portfolio name. And we're not gonna cover it today, but there is a second parameter that you can pass to, which would be a post ID if you wanna get the value from a completely different page or a completely different post or another custom post type, all right? So hopefully you found value in this video and learned a little bit about ACF. We're just skimming the surface here in what ACF can do, but it's an extremely powerful plugin that can do this and a whole lot more. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video if you enjoyed it. Come on back to the channel. Check out more if you feel like it when you need it.